What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. As you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, we're gonna be headed to Minnesota, a state that I've never fished in a bucketless lake on top of that. Before we get into like the whole nine yards, I quickly wanna say that this whole series is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that has fishing and hunting apparel, including saltwater as well. They're coming out with so much more stuff, guys. They are growing literally by the day. They're getting big. They are a truly an amazing company that I wouldn't be able to do this for a full-time job without them. They truly have made a dream come true for me. So they are sending me to Minnesota to fish in an ice castle for three days, two nights. I'm bringing my buddy Trevor. He's back there. He's actually tying a tip up right now. Getting all, We have literally so much stuff, but a lot of it's out in the garage. So I'll kind of show you that once we get into the actual vlog. But guys, I'm telling you, just go over to followtheaction.com, check out their designs. All of my merch will be also available on followtheaction.com in my own McGrath Fishing tab, I believe. Sometime in February or early March, we're coming out with a bunch of new stuff. So go over to followtheaction.com. If you guys do want to get anything, you guys can save 20% off on your entire order by using the code McGrathFish. All right, let's break this down and actually get into what we're actually doing. So I don't want to give too much away. I feel like when I do an intro, like I give a little bit too much away, but you guys obviously know the gist of it from the title and also just from the thumbnail. This series is going to be pretty badass the target species is definitely gonna be the walleye i got the walleye hunter on and then the shirt right here that is gonna be like the number one target species also perch and pike but again i don't want to ruin it i don't want to get anything we're just gonna, gonna roll this series and start from there so it is 10 30 at night right now it is today's thursday the 7th we are going to be leaving at like 12 31 in the morning to drive seven hours all the way to Mille Lacs, minnesota so we got a seven hour drive ahead of us me and trevor are going to split the drive i'm going to start out driving and then he's going to take over about halfway so that i can get some sleep as well guys this is going to be a series that i will never forget this is some bucket list stuff for me and i think it is for trevor too we we're talking about it a lot and just to do it with a good friend like trevor is going to be pretty badass actually back in like 2018 trevor trevor hit me up there he is Trevor hit me up on Instagram and we knew of each other. I knew actually his older cousin through high school. And we so we knew of each other and he hit me up on Instagram like three years ago, pretty much asking to fish. And like, I didn't really know him at the time. We kind of like got in like to talking just like about fishing and we started fishing together. I think I filmed my, my second ever video or no, maybe my third ever video on my channel was actually filmed with Trevor. So he's been around since day one and to do a bucket list trip like this with him is gonna be pretty badass. So let's get a little word from Trevor real quick. I mean, exactly like Tommy said, I mean, three years ago we met and became friends and all that and fished all throughout the years. And now I'm super excited that Fall the Action is allowing us to go on this trip together. Mox is a bucket list lake for me. Um, and to go there with Tommy, hopefully slam some trophy walleye. Fingers crossed on that one. Um, it's gonna be a trip I'm never gonna forget. So I'm extremely thankful to Fall the Action and Tommy for inviting me on this trip, so. Check out that hoodie too, guys. Yes. Tre Trevor's already repping. <laughs> He's already repping. Basically when I say, ooh, there we go. So basically when I say, I kind of, explain too much sometimes my intros and i just want this series to kind of roll and i want you guys to figure out is pretty much how we're figuring out like as we go reels can be and i feel like this channel has became about taking very cool trips and taking guided trips with some of the best guys and that's like one of the main things i wanted to accomplish on this channel i feel like we've done it but there's just so much more that we can do and 2020 kind of got ruined but i feel like this is a great start to 2021 i mean january 8th start off the bat 2021 literally doing a bucket list lake, bucket list species that could be, well, I wanna say bucket list species, but through the ice, just catching a giant wall, I guess that's like bucket list stuff. So my biggest wall through the ice is honestly only about 21, 22 inches. So I feel like that could definitely be broken. My PB is 25 and a quarter. This is literally the longest intro ever, but I just kinda wanted to set the tone for the trip and just kinda give you guys a background story and let you guys know that, again, my channel is really about taking really cool trips. Thank you to follow the action and also taking guided trips as well. We're gonna roll this. You guys are gonna figure out what's going on as we figured out as what's going on. So for right now, we're gonna keep packing up our stuff, get ready and roll it. So guys, Trevor's fixing the beaver dam tip ups right now. And look what he's doing for the flag. He needs to replace the flag. Yeah, I found a pack of replacement flags and they have these weird, weird clips on there. So I'm just popping it through. Just get a nice bright orange stack up here. So and then pirate sail ship. I know, and I got a little cap. So I'm just gonna pop all these through and put on the cap and we should be going. 
I mean, if we can't see that, there's a serious problem. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have a ton of propane right here, two bloody heaters, a propane camp stove, like a little stove if we want to cook something on the ice. Um, we're bringing the, the air fryer. Trevor's two tip-ups, we got that. We have our checklist, a pair of boots, pair of boots over there, bibs, cutting board, towel, seasoning, a pan. We actually have a cast iron pan that is right there. We just bought that today. You guys will see that. So we got these crates, so then we have a bunch of chips in here. We have uh, Trevor's bananas. <laughs> uh, we got some, obviously, salsa, like condiments, stuff like that. Uh, we're going through a lot more stuff. We have literally everywhere and then we have a cooler we're gonna be cooking some fillets we got some breadsticks we got we have literally so much chicken in here we got like new, or, I was new York strips <laughs> chicken strips bagel dogs um what else did we even get bacon. we got bacon in there sausage we bought like the buffalo chicken we got uh the barbecue chicken the the mild or the buffalo chicken we're fully loaded there we're gonna finish loading this stuff up we literally gotta get this car packed and then we literally take off in about an hour hour and a half so we're gonna turn off this camera or maybe actually maybe i'll run a time lapse of this real quick Trevor, time check? It is 11.51 11. and we are all packed up, ready to go and uh, we'll be hitting the road in here in a few minutes, so. Check out the car, guys. It's an absolute pack to the rim. Work of art. <laughs> this kind of is a work of art. This is like some Picasso <laughs> All right, guys, 12.20 on the dot. We are gonna go hit the gas station real quick, grab some chocolate milk, some waters. I need to buy one of those like charger things that goes in like the cigarette lighter things to charge our phone. So this is it, seven hour drive. I will turn on the camera if anything exciting happens. And yeah, this is it. This is this is uh, time. this is a charter. This is a Minnesota mission, guys. This is what we're gonna call this one, the Minnesota mission, uncharted territory. Hopefully we can overcome everything else and get it done. Here we go, guys. guys 349 we have three hours and 53 minutes left Trevor's gonna be taking over the driving from here and then we'll be there so we're gonna get there just in time to start fishing we're actually gonna be there a lot earlier than our check-in time that'll pretty much just give us time to get our winter gear on and pretty much prep ourselves and I'm really hoping we are able to drive the truck out in the ice to the spot because if not I don't know what the hell we're gonna do this car is fully loaded from the bed all the way inside everything so I'm gonna turn this light off so Trevor can drive and I will keep you guys updated once we get there. How are you feeling, bud? Feeling good. I'm ready to go. Got the bait. We're all set. Say that again. So we got the bait. We're all set to go. All right, guys. We have made it to Minnesota. We are about to drive out on the ice right now. We got our minnows. We got everything ready to go. My truck is fully packed, so we're gonna be following this guy right here. I'll show you guys that in a second. But Trevor's holding the minnows like his life depends on it. I don't know guys, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I will definitely give you guys a tour of like kind of where we were staying, kind of getting into that, but just want to keep you updated that we have made it to the big pond, is that all you guys call it. So I'm excited and I'm hoping that our first day turns out pretty well. I've heard the midday bite, so I was just talking to some guys that uh, work at the resort and they said that midday bite has been ass and the uh, overnight bite, so pretty much my hours, that's what I need, have been pretty solid. So I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, but that's all my thoughts right now. I'm on no sleep. I really don't even know what to think. We just had to do so much stuff by gas. Guys, it's been, it's been one hell of a day. So, all right, I will show you guys what, uh, right when we get on the ice. We are literally about to drive out in the ice. I've never done this with my truck. I've only taken a snowmobile, ATV, a UTV, and some other things. I gotta piss like a racehorse. Here we go. Overcorrect it if you can. I got it. We're good. <laughs> We're safe. Trevor's <laughs> getting splish splashed. Yeah. 
splish splash and I'm taking a bath. We out here. We out here. <laughs> Does it even feel like we're on ice? I know. We go we go through. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we forgot the boat. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, look how many houses are on here. I mean there's like there's like a neighborhood of ice houses. Can't even see that. A neighborhood. Like the White House. Or the White House. Some of these ice houses out here literally have like a satellite on top of their house for TV. I know ours is a TV, but I think we got that satellite though. This is insane, this white out. I would get so imagine being in the middle of the lake trying to like get around right now, Tommy. I'd be so lost. Like look. Like that's that's what we got out beyond us. Guys, that might just look like the camera's out of focus, but you just saw that house. You seriously can't see. Like probably I would say your vision's 50 yards. Yeah. Yeah, so not not the place you want to get lost out on. <laughs> 12 degrees. That is literally 12 degrees. Guys, I'm getting really, really excited. I was really tired kind of coming in here. We need to do so many things. I mean, forgot a case of water, forgot to get gas, had to buy 40 to one mix. I mean, there was just so many things that we forgot and just like little things. Oh, that's our place right there. All right, we're about to turn on another little road. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no way. Dude. Look at these holes, dude. The water's so clear. Dude, oh my god, the Markham is gonna be insane. Dude, this is sick. Alright, we're gonna start unloading everything. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm like in shock, jaw dropping. This is such a like a really nice ice castle, and I don't know. I really don't even know what to say right now. I'm gonna just let it settle in. We're gonna start unloading, but this is pretty insane. So we'll kind of get into it and like give you guys a better tour of everything first. So. You not, I don't even have a GoPro on, nothing. I literally just dropped down to see my Helix, and I literally already have a walleye right on me. He's right on me. That's a great- oh, he's, he's on you, Tommy. He's on me? It looks like it. Yeah, he's sitting right in the bottom. Right in the bottom. Yeah, he's coming up a little bit. He's coming up to Tommy's lure. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you guys like a real tour of this place in just a little bit, maybe towards the end of this video, but we have some active fish already, my first drop. I had two walleyes that really, really wanted it, and they're just kind of hovering over right now. So I'm gonna stop talking and get jigging right now because they're literally on my lure as we speak. I mean, they're right below me, and we got fish in this area. So this is good. this is really good so far. Fishing 14 feet of water, I'm gonna toss in the chest right now, and then throw you guys in there. Guys, I'm <laughs> lost for words, literally lost for words, but here we go, here we go. Day numero uno, not even first 15 minutes it's literally what time is it like 9 10 or something <laughs> 9 10 you have a whole school of perch on me all right so guys quick update before i grab the cannon these are actually perch on us now that we got the underwater camera down all right so we figured out guys what is actually on our baits and this underwater camera is honestly gold so what i'm gonna do is put on a wax worm and see if i can catch one of these perch i can't really tell how big it looks uh the camera's kind of far away and by far away i mean probably about three four feet so we're gonna find out maybe they'll hit this gold jig 24 karat gold 24 karat gold bud <laughs> got him got him first fish of the trip boys baby perch but we caught our first little wax fish there we go i should have put the underwater camera that was so sweet <laughs> Ow. Yeah, the whole thing. Whole, I said it because I saw him eat it. I didn't feel it. The first, the first fish. If we can hit perch during the day, maybe some nice ones, and then walleyes at night, I'm a happy guy because that's literally what the bite has, or that's what they've said it has been. I really need my sandals. Those are my good luck charm. Nice perch coming in. He's about to take it. Oh. Dude, we got it on footage. Does it still look clear? Well, I think we need Trevor Todd right now. Yep. His first perch of the trip. Alrighty, well, we are here. We made it. I think it's good time to give you guys a little tour. Trevor just caught his first perch, he just released it. So I'm actually gonna pop up the spot that we're fishing. I'm gonna have Trevor screen record it or I'm gonna actually pull it up on my laptop. Oh, Trevor's on again. 
Yeah, it doesn't feel ginormous, but I think it's another a little perch. There he is, out of the chute. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm excited. Well, let's give you guys a little tour, so. So if you come out here, this is the whole thing. And then right when you walk in. Bathroom. Uh, here's one of the beds that drops down. We'll show you guys that later when we kind of set up. But I got the other one camera here. Hole here, fridge. We brought the air fryer, microwave, stove top, oven. That's my helix. Come over here. We got a bunch more holes. We got rattle reels. And then this bed right here. So this one's up here. Obviously, it looks really high up there. And then if you hit this, this brings the bed down just like that. Got like a little table area. We got all of our stuff right here. We got our rods right there. Um, we got another hole here, another hole here. There's a rattle reel right there. We got a little stereo system. A little perch here. Trevor's got another perch. Oh my god. Down the hatch. This is it. The ice castle. This is pretty legit. I've never done this. So this is uh, new to me. We already have a uh, five or six perch. Very, very baby perch, but still fun. So I want to show up there. I'm going to pop up that like, kind of what we're fishing. We're actually on a really nice like sand rock bar and there's some deeper water actually right behind me towards this way. So I think all the walleyes right now are deeper. So we're gonna go set a tip up out there in a little bit. And then at night, so we heard there's a night bite that's a lot better than all these walleyes from there. They're gonna move up in shallower water come night. And when I say shallower water, we're talking 14, 15 feet, maybe a little bit more shallow, but then we're gonna be in a really, really good spot for the night bite. So, all right, that's pretty much it. I will uh, pick up the camera just a little bit. We might make some food and stuff like that. So I will definitely film everything we do. All right. All right, guys. So Justin's in here. He's giving us a rundown of everything, but we actually have, as we're talking, just shooting the shit. He's going to come back and fish with us possibly have a beer, but we got a rattle reel right now. So the line's twitching a little bit. So I think he's just moving his mouth. Give him a little pull a little just a little bit out go with some slack and see what happens there oh he swiped you yep it's a drive by did you get the bait no but he injured it yeah i think it was a walleye definitely okay yeah. shoot up not too bad but it it stunned him yeah Got them right here. I throw a fresh one on there. Alrighty. Take two of these things, tail hook them. Okay, and then you get them both? Get them both fighting each other and. That would cause them a ruckus? Causes a lot more ruckus and gets. So them, tail hook both of them? Yep, so they swim away from each other. They're constantly fighting each other. That's a smart idea. Yeah. So. Justin's full of, full of tips. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I appreciate all the advice and everything like that because. We never ice fished up in Minnesota or anything yeah, like that, yeah. and you know how like I've never how annoyed Wisconsin. Been in the state ever. Yeah, so that's a trick I've learned for a walleye bite. Sometimes I'll go up to as much as I'll put four of them on. And four? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then when you get a real aggressive bite, you get like six on a jigging wrap, six full fat heads, and <laughs> see you whipping that bait ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it creates uh, a big bait ball. So. All right, guys, they just uh, they just stopped by to pretty much shoot the shit with us, give us some tips. I talked about before, I was going to pop up that, uh, I'll pop up again as of right now, like kind of where we're at. We're really close to a break point. Uh, right now, we're kind of like almost on the flats, I guess you could say, of like 14, 15 feet. But then it drops off, there's about a hole that drops off to about 28, 29 feet. So that's actually right over there. You guys have no idea where the hell I'm pointing, but... That was that was really good action right there. I was not expecting a rattle reel to go off at what time is it, Trevor? Like one something the moon <gasps> phase. Guys, so did I talk about that in the video on the way up? I don't even remember. So on the way up, Trevor was talking to me about moon phases. We have no, there's a new moon in about four days, but also I like to talk, or I like to really fish times even for musky, small, it doesn't even matter what species. Moon rise and moon set. So moon rise today, I believe is at one. 136, I believe. Oh, it's 11.53. So, all right, I'm a little off, but the moon rise, moon set, very big into it. So that was definitely, definitely a walleye. No perch is gonna take that uh, fat head like that. So we'll see what happens here. All right, either we're gonna take a nap or keep fishing at this point, I have no idea. All right, guys, so again, we were just about to take a nap. We have this rattle reel set. Can't see shit, there we go. That rattle reel set, that one set, 
that one's set, and that one's set. So you can have two lines per person in Minnesota, and we're just gonna, and then this one started getting hit. That was the first one to get hit, but Justin explained that. Uh, Justin's actually gonna come back and fish with, uh, fish with us later. And then right when I set this one over here, this one started moving, and then right when Trevor dropped this one, this started moving, and, no, and these perch are not gonna be taken, these suckers, so. I'll come back to you if anything happens. See, the only thing, the only reason why I think it's like the minnow is because it's just like, the line is moving all around, but it's like twitching like very lightly. So that's why I feel like this is a minnow. But it did make noise, correct? Yes. So something must have spooked the minnow to make them move that hard. If I had to guess. So guys, what I have on this one, this one's a sucker. And I have it hooked like so perfect in the back where it's like barely hooked to the point where it's moving really well. Like you're not gonna be able to see this, but the, the fish is like swimming like an absolute like dead bait fish right now. It's so good down there. That's gonna do it for the first episode of the Minnesota Mission. Um, I kind of showed you guys like a little bit of tour, gave you guys like the whole nine yards, and just like the ice castle, how we're staying out in the ice, just kind of give you guys like the background. We did a little bit of fishing, we caught some small perch, but again, that was literally at like a 10 o'clock, 11. I don't really think we're gonna get walleyes that late in the morning, and I think the walleye bite really isn't that good in the day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some sleep, wake up at about 3, 3.30, and then we're gonna be fishing pretty much all night, probably set some tip-ups outside of the ice castle, expand a little bit, and not just kind of sit in here. Not, we're not gonna wish for the fish to come to us, we're gonna go to them, so. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet again another episode, and I really think that the series is gonna pick up, and tonight's gonna be a hot fight, so. You guys will see that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Two videos every single week. Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. And once again, thank you to follow the action for booking this amazing series. A bucket list lake, a bucket list trip to stay on the ice and literally a beautiful ice castle. So nice in here. So obviously we'll show you guys some more. But yeah, we are out. Trevor, any last words? Um, you know, they always say Mox is famous for the, the witching hours. People would call it the hour before, before sunset where all the walleyes come up and just start actively feeding and out of nowhere, the bite goes from zero to absolutely crazy. That's what everyone says, that's what I've heard um, from people we've talked to, so we're gonna rest up and get ready for the, the big show. All right guys, that's it. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Minnesota Mission. We are out.